your intrepid editor. Listen, are Halloween editions feeling light? You ever hear of that old decommissioned warehouse, the one where they used to film that old kid show from the 80s? It's supposed to be haunted, there's rumors about homeless guys disappearing, it's probably all bullshit, but see if you can sneak in, take some pictures, write something up, but don't go crazy, because we're a college paper, not Woodward and Bernstein. Just call me when you're done. working, can I get another one without any jerking around? Ugh. 
You've had two failed tests in the past. The third attempt will be your last. Damn it! Look, you're not supposed to be awake, so you just gotta play along and act like I have total control of you or we're both dead. Do you understand? Say something! Right. Riley sewed your mouth shut. Okay. Okay. Just nod your head if you understand me. Okay, good. Now shake your head. Good. Okay, you're not entirely useless. Did you say something? No, no, just talking to myself. I didn't mean to, uh, share the wealth. Surprisingly coherent rhyme, Scout. Your future, perhaps, is no longer in doubt. Proceed! Okay, big and tall. Hold me up to that screen and I'll open it. Let the testing begin. Okay, listen up, Gulliver's Travels. We gotta press this at the same time. Three, two, no, wait, let's go on three. One, two, three. That was surprisingly well done. Continue forward. Let's see how you handle the next one. Please wait here and do not further tread. Another test subject is finishing up in the room ahead. I'm gonna be sick. Ah, shit! That was a test of reflex and reaction which you barely packed to satisfaction. Test my reflexes when I kick your ass, Riley. Okay, I remember this one. You have to turn this thing at the same time I do, in the same direction. So just watch me, okay? Here we go. And switch. And switch. Huh? Another test passed. But this success, I suspect, was your last! Please hold steady. The next chamber isn't quite ready. Hey, host. Look at me for a second. You're killing us out there! You're not passing for a mindless zombie slave at all, and you're dragging me down with you! I don't feel like you get how bad this situation is. I don't have time to explain everything to you, but basically you're in a decommissioned soundstage filled with murderous sentient puppets from a cancelled children's TV show who were brought to life by an evil voodoo spell, and now they want to drain your life force in order to sustain themselves so they can bring their cancelled show back to life and take over the world! Actually, wow, that was pretty good. Did that all make sense to you? Either you're a phenomenal listener, or you're bullshitting me. If we see stuff that's relevant, I'll call it out to you. Look, it takes a lot of felt to admit you were wrong, and maybe I've been a little sharp with you. You probably noticed I'm not exactly kept in popular around here. I've never really fit in with the puppets. I've been trying to find a way to escape from this place for a while now, but I can never get past Riley's little dog and pony show. If you can help me get through this thing, then maybe we can get the hell out of here. But we gotta work together. So what do you say? Are we a team? Okay, good. Thank you for being reasonable. I'll remember that. I apologize for the pace being slow. The next chamber is ready to go. It's really dark in here. Hit me on my head to turn on my light. Host, thump on the top of my head right now. Okay, this definitely wasn't here last time. What the hell is all this? Okay, it's, uh, it's April 15th. This is Anthony Pearson, log number five. I'm sorry, I gotta keep my voice down. I think there's puppets nearby. This is it. This is fucking it. A real supernatural phenomenon. The one I've been looking for my whole life, and it was hiding here in a rundown warehouse. It I'm fuck nowhere. I can't believe I almost bailed on this place. I gotta get pictures of everything, not just for the website, for the world. I'm gonna keep my research in hidden compartments around the warehouse. I'll use the Vox Veritas symbol, the pyramid with the eye, to mark where they are in case I need to find them. That 
keep it at home, but who am I kidding? My home's a Pontiac Grand Am right now. What was that? Shit. That guy sounds crazy, and that's coming from a talking hand puppet. Do you see that? Don't attack them. Not quite yet. Welcome to Visual Hand Coordination. This custom design, handy big ball drop and sort device will test your ability to non-verbally relay information. Rhyme, Riley! Information rhymes with coordination! Do not question my rhyme participation! She's just mad because she knew that was a stretch. Okay, teammate, I think I remember this one. Stick me in that slot so I can see the balls coming, and then press the buttons that correspond to what I say. Okay, it's starting up. Three, two, one. Yellow. Green. Red. Green. Red. Yellow. Wait a minute, it's changing. Now I'm seeing like nouns instead of colors. Turtle. Banana. Cherry. Grass. Sun. Okay, final round. This one's gonna be tricky. Ladybug. Turtle. Red. Green. Holy <laughs> shit, we did it! You have to test you always fail somehow. I'm skeptical, but continue on. For now. Taxidermy drop. Gross. Wait, wait. Stop. Do you hear that? Hit me on the head to turn the light off. Oh, how did you even find this? Testing, testing. Uh, it's March 4th, it's 11.30 p.m. <clears throat> okay, start here. Uh, this is Anthony Pearson, co-founder of Vox Veritas. We're an independent journalistic haven and blog. We investigate paranormal phenomena and shine a light where the government and the Illuminati don't want light shown. We're here at the abandoned handyman warehouse, a place that local homeless populations say is haunted. Anyone who wanders in never leaves. What terrible secrets does this place hold? All right, cut there. Uh, this place is bullshit. It's a total wash. If I don't get something soon, I'll get Randy down here to bang some pipes upstairs, get some reaction shots. I don't know. Photoshop a heat reading, whatever. Just once, I would like to not have to fake this. Whoa! 
What is this? A sauna? This must be the next test. Hold me up above the steam. Okay, I can see a shutoff valve. I'll walk you toward it. Just listen to me. Warmer? Good, warmer. Yes. Warm, just warm as shit. That's warmer. Warmer. Hot, burning hot, smoldering. Surface of the sun hot. Colder. No, bad, colder. Cold as hell. Yep, warmer. Getting warm. On fire, crazy hot. Really? Okay, you got it. Good job. And just in time, this smoke is hell on my asthma. I don't have asthma, I don't know why I said that. Advanced Visual Handsync Test, version 1.013. Please approach the handy flag and wave machine. Okay. Uh, I've never made it this far. Hey, I can see you out there. I have some colored buttons in here, but I don't know which one to push. Here we go. Three, two, one. Job. Now it's gonna probably get harder somehow. Last round. We can do this. No way you'll make it through that test! Ah! Relax, Riley. Your plan's in place to slow down this accelerating pace. Plan's in place? What the hell does that mean? It's, it's May 3rd. This is tape 7 or 8. I actually can't remember. Okay. Uh, they're not ghosts. I can tell you that. They're corporeal. The scientist one, Riley, she has a, a lab downstairs. I found it tonight, and I, I've seen some bad shit in my life. I've never seen anything like that. She's like a puppet mangler or something. She had these tapes, too. They're just stacked up in boxes. Now, a lot of them were burned, but this one actually did play. People think that the occult is all superstition and nonsense, but I can feel something moving inside of Mortimer when I, I say these words, I, imperfect as they are. His soul is in there. It wants to come to life. I, I'm so close. That was Owen Gubberson, the creator of Mortimer's Handyman. I did a little digging at the library. This guy was a nut, really off his rocker. Obsessed with his puppets, obsessed with the occult, with bringing them to life. He thought his puppets had souls that were trapped in their bodies. Did he go crazy enough to try to find some occult spell that would bring his puppets to life? And did the world go so crazy that the spell actually fucking worked? Wow, that was Owen's voice.
improbably you have arrived at the final station. But I've added a special test just for you that I think you will find quite a taxation. Good luck. Fail, Otron? Oh, come the fuck on! What is this? Okay, it's starting up. Three, two, one. Red. 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 Ah! Okay, final round. I can't... Wait, wait a minute. This, this is... I can't do this. Uh, uh -oh. No one can do this. From what Shit. I can tell, it seems your test didn't go so well. This is bullshit! That machine's impossible! No one could pass that! You're sabotaging us! I warned Mortimer about you! I said you weren't a handyman through and through! You had your chance, you couldn't float, and now my dog makes a two doors from your throat! Host, run! We have to run right now! Roscoe, get them! Human resources, go there! Get inside now! Just hit the damn button! Come on, come on, come on! Turn around! We have to shut the door before it gets in! Switch! Switch! Riley really tried to kill me! I mean, I always knew she hated me, but I'm a puppet! I'm one of them! I never thought they'd actually... You! This is all your fault! Ever since you came along, everything has been fucked! I'll kill you, you jolly green giant sack of shit! I'll... What's the point? We're both dead. Best thing to do is just lay down and wait for them to find us. Where are you going, Ginormica? We can't escape. There's tons of them and one and a half of us. Wait, what is this place? I've never been in here before. Are those... Hosts? Do you see that thing? That can't be what I think it is. Did that one just move? No. This door won't open. I need a green security pin. It's like the pin I wear on my shirt. But I don't have one, so we're fucked. Unless you can find one somewhere in here. What are we doing in here? This is bad. They're gonna catch us. And they won't kill us, by the way. No, 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 no. Not for weeks. Not for months. They're gonna rip out our guts while we're breathing. They're gonna drill into our eyeballs while we're awake. I can't do this. I can't do this. Listen, host. I need you to put me out of my misery. Will you kill me, host? Well, then I'd love to know what you propose because we can't even get out of this fucking meat locker.
Can't you keep it down? I don't know what's in here. Just a shadow. Sorry, I'm a little freaked out. Are you freaked out too, host? You are? Well, you seem calm, but I guess having your mouth sewn shut will give you the old strong silent vibe. If you're serious about this whole escape plan thing, there's only one way out of here. There's a hole in one of the walls from the fire. But here's the fun part. It's way back in Mortimer's section. And to get there, we gotta go through the soundstage, which is where all the other puppets are. So I hope you're a fast runner. This feels insane. Do you actually think we're gonna make it out of this? You do. You're either lying or you're crazy, but you know what? I'll take it. I can't stop thinking about that meat locker. Those hosts hanging there. Riley always told us hosts loved being hosts. She said the host world, the world where you're from, is hell. And hosts are begging to join our world. But I don't know. They didn't look happy in there. You're from the host world. Is it... I don't know. Is it a good place? I guess that's a hard question to answer. I've seen the host world, you know. One time, before my first orientation, I found a television in the basement with working cable. I don't even know how long I was watching it before Riley caught me. Cop dramas, bake-offs, nightly news. It blew my mind. Ever since then, I've never fit in here. That's when I stopped rhyming. I just couldn't anymore. Maybe if we survived this, and that's a colossal if, I could fit in out there, in your world. I know I'm a puppet, but do you think that's possible? Wow, thank you. I don't know if I believe you, but it's nice of you to say. Attention handymen of every shape. A defective puppet named Scout and her host have escaped. They have corrupted my data and rendered my test incomplete. So you must hunt them down now and halt their retreat. Rip out their eyes, eat their guts, burn their skin, throw them in the trash. Oh, I'll fucking kill you all! I have never heard Riley not rhyme. She must be really losing it. I can't open this. I need a different security pin. Look around. Maybe there's one in here somewhere. Mortimer's handwriting. It says, mind if I join in on the fun? No, come on! Are, are we really doing this? This is a bad idea. I don't want to do this! I don't want to do this! I don't want to do this!
You must have done it wrong. Let's try it again. Ah, come on, really? This pin looks incomplete, like it's missing pieces. And why the hell is Mortimer helping us? That makes no sense. Shit, a sock puppet! Not good! Run, host! Get to the door! Put me up to the scanner! Hurry! Shut the door! Shut the door! <sighs> I am really over this close call shit. Ew, what is that? Is that like blood? No, 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 no. I have a thing about blood. It's like a phobia. I get sick at even the thought of... Oh, I almost threw up just thinking about it. But we gotta get through the door, so I'm just gonna have to... Okay, okay, I'm gonna psych myself into this and we'll be... Here you go. I just have to... Ugh, grow. Either I'm going crazy, or you are just in my head, controlling me. How the hell did you- Shit. Our psychic link must be going haywire. This is bad. Stay out of my head. That's the exit over there. Let's go. Damn it. No, no, no. Come on. We're going to need to find the other pieces of this pin and complete it before the door will open. Look for more puzzle boxes like that Mortimer Jack in the box. I'll bet they're in there. I think the power's out. We're going to need it back on. Did that rat have something in its mouth? See if you can follow it. Uh, no. I'm not looking up into that dark, scary vent. No way! And don't even think about doing that brain swap thing again, Captain Body Snatcher. You did it again, didn't you? Stay puffed. Wait, what's in my hand? Oh, shit, a key. This might work on the breaker box. Here, take it. Okay, let's see if this key fits in the old breaker box.
All right, we got power. Now we just need to find the pieces of this pin. Knickknacks domain. Formerly the dressing room. Don't let his cutesy artiste thing fool you. He's a cold-blooded maniac. Let's hope he's not home. Audio log 21, it's August 10th. Uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna come back here. I, I don't know why I keep coming. I, I just, I found another tape. It's Owen, I'm pretty sure. Each of them is who they were on the show, but I twisted it's wrong somehow. Riley's the worst, she was a scientist on the show. Now, now she's a monster and, and Mortimer. I. I don't think he understands human beings as anything but cattle. I'm I'm losing control of them. They don't they don't listen to me anymore. Mortimer told me the other night that he had a plan to to cheer me up. I'm not sure I want to know what that is. I don't know what happened to the crazy bastard, but it looks like he failed. Just like I failed. I wonder what they did to him. I heard rumors about what happened to Owen. Something about making him a puppet? I don't know. This room smells weird. Or wait, host, did you just fart? Well, somebody snuck something into this room. I'm watching you, heavy hands. Projector. Okay, maybe there's something about knickknack on one of the slides. Well, okay. The piece we need is probably in there somewhere. Knickknack loves music. Maybe something musical will do something.
That's another piece. We just need to find a few more. Riley's lab. Used to be a workshop for the TV show. Now Riley uses it to put puppets on rats and torture rabbits and shit. You never know what's going to be crawling around in here. Ah! Do not get near those things! They're blocking our path to that box, though. Wish there was some way we could, like, move them. Hey, I think I see a key lodged in the gears of that nightmare machine. You know what? Since you like being me so much, why don't you take this one too? out of there slowly on purpose? No, I know you didn't. Sorry, I'm just kind of freaked out. They're going to town on that thing. All right, that's two of them. I think we just need to find one more. Okay, well, fuck this. This used to be the sewing room, but I guess Daisy got her claws on it. Uh, are we absolutely sure we need to be in here? Hey, host. I was just thinking. Back in the host world, do you have, like, a family? Yeah, you strike me as a loser. I mean, loner. You're a loner. Big red button. Guess we have to press it, right? Huh. That was disappointing. Try it again. Only you could press a button wrong, host. Really hammer it! Well, whatever. I guess it doesn't work. Ah! Damn it! Holy shit! The 
that's Owen! That's the guy who made us! And then went crazy and used some kind of voodoo spell to bring us to life. Bet he regrets that now. What did they do to him? It's weird to meet your god. Almost positive those puppets are watching us. Ugh, puppet surgery. Riley loves this shit. Listen, I don't mean to be gross, but if Riley has a pin, she might have left it inside one of these puppet corpses by accident. We should try to open it up and look around. That's it! We got it! Now let's take this back to the exit door we saw before and get out of here! You idiot puppets apparently cannot handle a simple chase and grab! So to deal with this, I'm sending hey, something from I my lab! I see a key lodged in the gears of that nightmare machine. You know what? Since you like being me so much, why don't you take this one too? Damn it! No, no, no! Come on! We're gonna need to find the other pieces of this pin and complete it before the door will open. Look for more puzzle boxes like that Mortimer Jack in the Box. I'll bet they're in there. <laughs> I've been wanting to see. Don't be shy. Come, have some tea. Oh, shit. And don't try to go for the door. I control the whole room with my handy control board. Damn it. He's got us. Just buy us time. I'll think of something. Here's how it will be. You will join us now for tea. If you follow our instructions and prove you're polite, you might just survive this night. But fail to obey three times, and these lights will turn red. And when that happens, dear friends, you're both dead. Riley! You're late! Let's not make our guests wait! Scout! I'll rip your gut!
Get out! Calm yourself, Riley. We're just having tea. Now, scout, or host, or whomever you are, would you pour me a fresh cup so I don't have to get this up? This is highly irregular. I must insist, scout, and her horse cease to exist! Of course, Kathy. Our sock puppet friend can't speak for herself, you see. Can you put a sugar cube in her tea? I cannot sit here having tea, acting pleasantly. I need more milk in my tea. With this traitor and this sack of diseased meat and bones. Enough, Riley. Either way, I'm impressed you both survived this day. You even escaped Riley's test. How dare you? My tests were perfect. Scout is the problem. She has some kind of defect. Milk and sugar for my tea, host. And for the sock puppet. Now, host and scout, I propose a competition. A kind of compromise where possibly neither one of you dies. What? You've shown great pluck and your tea party manners are good enough. You've earned a sporting chance to escape this Nasty this stuff. will not stand! One sugar for all of you us. both belong to me, and I humbly demand... Calm down, Riley. I will not calm down. They are my property! Mine! If you won't handle this, I'll rip out their spine! I said enough! Cease that filth, Riley! We're at tea! Now apologize, or I'll rip out your eyes! Sorry. Not to me! To our guest! And make it your best! Sorry. Wonderful! Now, as I was saying, I think you've shown great pluck. And I don't just talk that up to luck. You survived a great deal to get here today, and it would be unfair to throw that all away. So here's what I propose, a sort of parley. I'll give you a chance to make a clean getaway. I'll give you a head start, let you run as fast as you dare. Well, we hunt you down and give you a good scare. If you make it outside, then you're free to depart. But if we get to you first, then we rip out your heart. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Give a head start to this wretch. After all, Roscoe loves to play fetch. I'll dissect your organs, host. I'll disassemble your brain. I'll twist your nerve endings till you can't feel pleasure Easy, from pain. Riley, let's be polite. We don't want our prey to die of fright. Now, there's a flashing button on the table that escaped your detection, which I gently nudged in your direction. When you press it, our little game will begin. And you'd better pray to your god that you will. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! What will transpire, I can hardly guess! Well, come on, don't delay! Press this button and run away! Post Jackson, run! <laughs> what fun! What wonders! Good sport! I'll give you a chance before I send my cohort! Go, go, go! As fast as you dare! We'll find you soon and give you more than you can bear! Where the shit are we now? What the hell even are these tunnels? Who builds scary bullshit maze tunnels like this? I hate this place! Okay, which door do we... Maybe you can hear Roscoe if you listen carefully. You're the one who's got ears.
Don't go this way! This way is good! Oh, wow! Okay, if Roscoe shows up here, we're good and fucked! FYI, when people say be honest, they don't actually mean that. It's fine. I'm fine. Let's just go. Is that a light up there? I think we're getting out. for me. Hey, uh, host. You remember what you said before about how you thought I could make it in the host world? Did you mean it? You are <coughs> weirdly nice. I mean, we kidnapped you and sewed your mouth shut and here you are, letting me down easy while I'm about to... Shit. <coughs> so... When we get out, I guess people are gonna want to know why you have a talking puppet on your hand. I was thinking... <coughs> I was thinking we could take advantage of it, you know? Open a novelty restaurant or have a talk show. Which one you like? Nod if you like the restaurant, shake if you want the talk show. Yeah, a restaurant. <laughs> we'll... we'll call it... <coughs> we'll call it handouts! <laughs> That's awful. I'm sorry. You know what? Why don't you decide? I'm feeling kind of tired anyway. I'd have liked to see more of your world, but I made a friend, and there's probably nothing out there better than a friend. I'll see you around, friend. Troubles have 
We'll throw a nice party and we'll all be so glad. More data! More theater you two are making me mad!